Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Manish Karya. You guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm going to walk you through how to create a full stack application with using a .NET and React. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. This is a nice beautiful UI. Header is there, footer is there. If you can add the new user, just simply hit name, email and password. Make sure password should be correct like alpha numerical and everything should be there minimum eight digit everything should be there so okay now it's looking good if i click on this this is visible so this is the beauty of using this and you see the pagination is already there so we are using it like a data form if i click on add again the data is not there it is vanished so i'm gonna add nothing submit on submit you will have uh, two users now if i search for di it's gonna return that particular user to me if i go back and hit enter so it will show me everything my bad so mahesh one two three and i'm gonna submit this so it's mahesh one two three now so this is updating as well now let's try to delete one of them so it's getting deleted now so we are gonna make a uh, react with uh, and d i'm gonna use and d for the design and in the backend, I'm going to use a .NET 8 version and Node 20 version. So I already have a node available inside my system and I'm going to use a Node 20. I'm using NVM by the way, you can use NVM 2. I need to create few directories. So I'm going to start with uh, npx create react app and client hit enter. So in the new tab you can start with creating dotnet project so dotnet new wave api and just name it users api or api or app whatever you prefer so once this is done let's open the sidebar so program.cs is something that uh, we are going to play around with so we need to create backend api first so before i start i have to install few dependencies uh, so I'm going to use a SQLite of course so for that users API inside that I I'm going to install SQLite and tools this is it and once we are done with that so in the program.cs I'll quickly start with integrating entity framework core the dependencies and later I'll create the builder and once you create a builder let's add the course so you want to get a course inside your react app so I'm allowing all the methods, all the header and everything. So it's not production ready code. That's why, but you can define your specific IP here. You can define the specific methods if you want. Later, you have to define the DB context that is gonna connect to your DB. For now, we are using the SQLite. So that's why it's gonna connect with the SQLite. And that's it. Then you can define the app and you can create the builder. So I have added this course already and later you have to check if uh, it's creating already so you can create your tables. You have to define your tables first. So for that we are going to create a model. Uh, it will check for that if models are not there or tables are not there in the DB it will create and it will make sure that DB is getting created and after that you have to create the very first API that is going to return all the users db.users.to list uh, it's a pretty straightforward and for the specific user you can define uh, api slash user slash specific id if the id is there it's gonna return otherwise it will say not found and the post method where you can define uh, whatever you want to create name email password it's gonna be a simple app with the crude application so that's what we are doing in here so here you can define your name email password it's gonna add and it's gonna save the changes and this is it once created you can go to that particular route and inside put you need to define your id in the params and based on that params id it's gonna verify that if the id is there if the user is there it's gonna update the fields name email password that you have provided so at last we'll come to the delete part delete if the user is there it's gonna delete and it's gonna return the uh, previous users if you want like you can define here otherwise it's fine uh, you can say no user found 
and the last one is all you have to do is app run we missed one thing that we have to define a user model you can do it in to the separate files like models and data uh, you can follow the mvc pattern or you can define in the same file as well where a class user with the uh, gator sensitors you have to define that's what i am doing in here and app db context create the class and define in there so now we are completely ready to run this application so let's go and let's hit dot net run command and hit enter once this is done let's open this url so uh, the url is slash api slash user so i'm getting an empty array so i don't have anything yet uh will you can use a postman to verify all the routes i'll directly jump onto the client side and we'll start implementing the front end quickly i need to install few dependencies first one is andy this is a framework for ui and axios so these two dependencies are enough axios that we use to fetch the users or any uh, api that you can call directly from the fetch as well it's all your choice so let's open the client code inside here there are bunch of things that is not needed for now like this app.css i don't want this so i'm gonna delete this i don't need this test cases for now so i'm gonna delete this too i need this but all i have to do is padding zero in here and we don't need this so you can remove the logo as well and let's remove this unwanted things for now i need to remove report wave vitals and this is pretty much it let's go to the app and let's remove everything so let's start with the app.js i'll quickly start with exporting app i don't have it yet later i need to import few things use state use effect will be the default a uh, few of the things from andy that is all the components layout menu table form input button model and space so we'll understand one by one later and i'll of course i'll need axios later to fetch the apis and header content and footer that will be part of layout once you have it you have to define your app now your app is ready to build now because all the dependencies that we know that we are gonna use now and i'm gonna quickly start with the users because we are creating a users we'll need a set user uh, we'll have a model that will have a pop-up model to create or edit your form and for that we'll need the create a uh, user and search term we are gonna search for the particular user as well so form is something that we'll need uh, later and now we are calling it fetch users so the api is running in here so this is my api the port 5233 that we can utilize later instead of this and you will have a function that can do either edit or add so if you find the particular if you click on particular button it's gonna add it if you if, if the current user is not there it means you are uh, doing the addition or post to post the new user so we are trying to do both in the single function because the model will remain the sim single and handle delete user if uh, everything is right if you find that particular user uh, on click of delete it's gonna delete the user so but on use effect on every change you should fetch all the users if uh, this is not the right way there is not a production ready code if you have millions of users definitely you have to add the pagination you have to add the bunch of other things uh like uh, react toolkit and bunch of other things that you can use to do the operations on the locally in the react but this is the demo uh, for crude so we are doing this inside uh, the app only you can create the multiple components if you want but components are provided by the andy already so that's why we are using that so now filter user is something that we are going to use in order to search that particular user and convert them into the lower case to check whether that particular user is there or not and 
here is the way of defining the columns like i'll have a name email password and i'll have action buttons uh, with the icons that icons i need to download it later that will download so this icons will come from there so i have this button and based on that button the model will work we'll understand this thing later and you have to set the password rules you can install any library to have a password rules because passwords should be a strong uh, you can prefer to go with a regex if you want or you can define it like this this is the right way of doing things so i'm using that now inside return i have a layout i'm just defining layout with the minimum height of 100 vh that is uh, your desktop height and inside that i'm gonna have a header and inside header i'm gonna define the bunch of menus just a name like home contact faq this kind of menus so let's go with the home and contact we don't have anything yet in there it just to look it better we are doing this inside content uh, all we have to do is all the form related table and everything will be the part of here so space is something that we use to align in a proper or direction you can have padding and everything in there so I'm defining a button to add user so whenever I'll click on that user it should have icon of plus along with add user so I prefer to go with the icons I like to have icons like trash icon pencil icon that you can define and later you can have another space where you can define your search term so that search term will search for the particular value and we have defined this search term already in here if you look at look at here search term search term is coming from here so i'll go back and now this table is single line of code uh, that will integrate the columns and that will integrate the data source columns we have defined already if you look at this these are the columns and this is the way to integrate columns and data source into the table so that's why i like this way now let's start with integrating the model model which is going to be the main part which will be pop up every time when you click on the edit or add user okay so so on cancel if you click on the cancel uh, the set is model visible will be back to the false and current user will be null so it will be vanished from there so your model should be vanished every time you either add it or do add so this is the best way to do that and later you can define the form and inside form there will be everything like init values will be the current user that you can pass inside the form and on finish you can handle the edit or delete so on finish on you click on the submit button so it will either post or put the api okay for for the form uh, you can define your input field that will be the name later we'll need the email and the password so these these are the rules that we are following in here which is coming from here so these are the rules that password needs to follow in order to proceed and you will need the final submit button so based on this submit button click it will call this handle add it or delete thing so it will accordingly if the current user is there it's gonna add it or not okay so the next thing is footer to just look uh, for the nice look we are adding it footer in here so this is pretty much it i need to replace this port so let's do that quickly so wherever that port is given all i have to do is right click and change all occurrences and paste this is it so once you do that if you see here uh, the table got created automatically so you don't have to worry of that we are using the normal sqlite so it's creating in the db file and if i go in client side if i just uh, control s it's gonna uh, refresh the page so now let's let me do it like this so this is a nice beautiful ui header is there footer is there if you can add the new user just simply hit name email and password make sure password should be correct like alpha numerical and everything should be there minimum eight digit everything should be there so 
okay now it's looking good if i click on this this is visible so this is the beauty of using this and you see the pagination is already there so we are using it like a data form if i click on add again the data is not there it is vanished so i'm gonna add another name submit on submit you will have uh, two users now if i search for di it's gonna return that particular user to me if i go back and hit enter so it will show me everything so okay let's do that yeah i'm getting it correctly sorry my bad so mahesh one two three and i'm gonna submit this so it's mahesh one two three now so this is updating as well now let's try to delete one of them so it's getting deleted now and every time the apis is getting called so yeah this is the uh, beautiful ui that we have used in this today's tutorial it was pretty straightforward we have used a single single page to make it short uh, video but uh, please do let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed 